Welcome to the very first video of TCG Card Shop Simulator. I'm going to make a guide for you guys to have the best experience possible since day one. Hopefully this is going to help you. Anyway, let's play. Hop into a brand new game and confirm. Just don't, just don't overwrite my current save, please. What I'm going to show you guys over here, what you got to do is walk into the exclamation point. It's going to tell you, name your place. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, just say testnet. Doesn't really matter what you name it. It does have no effect. So the one thing you have to understand is the timer of the game only starts once you open your shop. So we're not going to do that right now. Instead, we're going to press tab, go to stock order, and we're going to buy two of these cards here. The very first cards that you start the game with. We're going to buy and we're going to order them. Once they're here, all we're going to do is we're going to open it up and open the cards so what you want to do right now is reach level two as fast as you can because level two is where the juicy starts the juiciness starts let's just be honest here <laughs> once you reach level two we're going to reorganize our place inside and also buy the boxes but it might be only level three and we're also going to buy a different shelf um, but it's going to be sh shelf explanatory very soon. No, I'm just kidding. I can also show you guys why we do it. If you want to understand it a little bit better. So to open up cards, all you have to do is right click on the box. Hold on, right click. You'll pick up eight cards in your hand. And then you can hold down. You can press R. And then it turns the card around. And if you hold down left click, you'll open up the cards. Um for as long as you want. Uh, the other thing you can do also is once the card is turned around, you can just press R again and you can place it back for if maybe there's clients that you need to help or anything like that. So I'll make it a little bit of a tip video. I'm not going to make much of that. Maybe just one. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so we're level two. But we need to reach level three. Level 2, we can reorganize our place a little bit. But two boxes should be enough of card openings to, to do that. So, um, can we, we can't buy it yet. We need to get level 3. So I can show you guys once we're level 3, why we're speed running to level 3. Uh, this is the fastest way to earn experience in this game at this moment. And that is to open up cards. Now you get 14 XP no matter what deck you open. Or 7. If you get like a rare card, you get more experience. Uh, depends on the rarity and stuff, but... The expensiveness of the card doesn't matter. On how much experience you get, according to my knowledge at least. Uh, you also get bonus experience for if a card is new. If you don't have it in your album already. So... These are the last four cards. And two boxes should be enough. And to open up a box that's on the floor, just hold on, right click again on it. Okay, we're almost level 3, with some cards to spare. Obviously, if you don't reach level 3, you can either just restart the game, or you could just uh, buy another box. It depends on you, like what you prefer. So, that should be enough. And we're level 3, so we'll throw that back in. I want to show you guys why we do this as well for you to understand like why the strategy works in the first place um so we're gonna buy the the red box for you it will be blue i'm using a a mud here and it's gonna add to cart here you can see we have 700 uh 700 and a few dollars so this is the highest we can go so you can see the total due there 
we're paying $24 delivery. So just so you know, the lowest delivery fee you can pay is $2. Uh, so if you buy one of them, it will be $5. Two, it stays at five, so it's two fifty. But anything above two, so you always want to buy more than two items for the del delivery to be two dollars. Okay, just if you want to min max that, so always buy more, uh, like at least three items, if you want to pay the least amount of delivery fee. Anything above that doesn't really matter. So you're gonna buy twelve boxes, and now for you to understand why we're doing this is we're going to place this here, and you'll see, we can only have four. Yeah, you can only have four. So we're going to pick this up. What do you mean it has no item? Just pick it up. And then if you press C, you'll box it up. And if you press C again, you're going to sell it for 150. So we're going to open up this again. We're going to go to my DIY. This is where you can buy stuff. We're going to buy one small cabinet. And then, this is how the strategy works, if you can find the door. We're gonna walk in, and we're gonna place this as close to the entrance as we can. And then we're gonna take this, so for, for us to move this around, you have to come to the screen, and then press Q, and then you can move it around. So we want clients to literally pick up and turn around and buy. So this is how it's gonna be. Then you'll see if we place it in here now, four is not enough anymore. So it's more than one box to fill it up. Hey girl, opening up shop soon. So let me explain a little bit how this works so you guys can understand. A client's gonna come to the store and it's, it's gonna roll between 1 and 6 to pick up an item divided by 2. So the highest it can get is 3, but he can also buy again and buy again, so he can buy up everything. But if he rolls a 6, it will be a 3, he'll pick up 3 items. He can only roll then 1 out of 3. So what you need to do is, while he's buying, you need to re restack um, the shelf. That's the only way it's, this is going to work. So we need to restack the shelf. And we're going to open up shop soon, as soon as we see a few clients that is uh, close by. So there's one. One is not enough, my buddy. Okay, there's a few coming right now. So we're going to open up shop here. And while he's buying, we're going to stand with the box in our hands. Okay, we're gonna restock and then we'll we'll let him buy. So thirty dollars. Next. So once these guys are in queue, it doesn't really matter. Um, make sure you're restocking the whole time. The thing is, you want them to buy as many as they uh, as they can. Now, this is not going to be very high for customer satisfaction. Also, I'm using a mod for pricing, so just keep that in mind. So this guy bought quite a bit, thank you sir. Pretty much appreciated. So once someone is standing in queue, they can't leave until you help them. So your priority is to... Okay, this is a stinky girl, so you want to get her out of your shop before she chases away anyone. See, this guy is one of those people that will look for a specific item, so the satisfaction won't be high. If there's a stinky person, just try and get them out of your shop as soon as you can. Uh, also, go to Reno D Biggs and expand your shop. And the reason being is because there will be more people coming to your shop once you do that. Okay. 
Come on, come on. You see what you like. But wait, there's more. Okay, I need to buy more. Should be enough. You only bought one, unfortunately. That's a good buy for sure. one. I also want to get these guys out of your shop as soon as you can. Uh, the reason being is because more people spawn. And I think the next thing is level 4. Yeah. So level 4 we're going to upgrade. Um, so my arena digs, we're going to upgrade our expansion again for more clients to spawn in. We have two full boxes now. Okay, this is not good. Yeah, this is not good. Thirty dollars. Okay, what we want to do now is we want to buy this one and start stocking up on this. Don't even know how much money we have. Let's see this screen. Can we buy one more? No. Okay, that was a bit slower than I wanted it to be. But the bigger box will help uh, improving the speed quite a bit. Because now it's eight inside one box. It, it costs double the amount, but it doesn't matter. Dum, 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 dum. So stinky guy, you just want to get him out of your shop soon, so... Three boxes. Come in. We have a, a great variety of money makers for me. So I'm just holding left click and moving up and down the whole time. Is it restocked? I think so. Yeah. 180. Okay, so now what we got to do is buy more. <laughs> 
Come in, come in. Do you like what you see? Oh, Lee. Forty Adalas. So the reason you also do more than one shelf is because you want them to be able to select multiple different ones. So my digs, uh, we can't buy that extension yet. So then it will be better to buy even more. Good day, Heisenberg. How are you doing, sir? Another one coming. Hey, he's not happy. It's not gonna buy. Once the client is walking against like he's walking against the thing the whole time, you know he's not gonna buy. He's, he's looking for a specific item that you're not selling. And it could be anything, it could be the cards. Stinky is gonna most probably chase one someone away. Get Stinky out of the shop. Expansion is when requires level five. Is what I'm talking about making bank, bro. So, another expansion. Come on, people. It's nice and juicy in here. The reason why I restock is because you could select the shelf again, the same shelf. There's code running behind for him to select a random shelf. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh... This is now a bit crazy. What are you, Dallas?
Okay, selected two different shells, so that's good. Ninety. Is there one else coming? Eisenberg is coming back. He's like, fine, I'll go buy it quickly. So this is how to get the most insane star in the game. If you want to play day one like a sweater. And there we go. There's our final client walking out of the building. This guy would have come in also, but, you know, he looks nerdy. <laughs> So yeah, this is how you get the most insane start in this game. And you'll see that we're hitting well over $3,000 a day, close to closer to 4,000. And that's with one shelf, one item, and a little bit of uh, knowledge on how to start. But let's have a look over here. Seven dissatisfied customers. We made close to $5,000 in one single day. And uh, yeah, once you get a restocker, and just keep on flowing, keep on going. Uh, this can make you uh, actually a lot of money. So hopefully this guy's this this guide actually helps you to understand like how a little bit more how clients work. They will roll one out of how many ever is on the shelf divided by two, and that's how much they'll buy, if, uh, assuming they have the money to do so in the first place. Now, customer satisfaction is going to be red because you're not selling all the items, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. The only item you need from here on out is just some spray so that, you know, it doesn't chase away people because it will happen. If one someone in your line does stink, it potentially could ruin the experience for other people. So, um... But yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the Let's Play. Mm -mm -mm. Take care. Bye-bye.